All right, so what about y'all? Hey, we back here again. This is GMS Houston. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash. That's right. The Lord is to the apostles of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim out there doing the work of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, in true faith and in sincerity. So here it is. We're coming to the end of the new year, or another, the end of another year, the end of uh, another decade, we're going into 2020, and this is our New Year's Eve of Destruction class, which uh, we will be putting up in curses, checking down Babylon, all at the same time, you know, like we do every year. So, uh, yeah, this 2019 has been a rocky year. It's been, it's been eventful. It's, it's been, man, it's been, a, it's been a hell of a year. And so, that's setting the stage for 2020. We already know what, what kind of know what to expect coming into 2020. And 2020 is going to be a super duper heavy year. Uh, this is the end of the year of the Karagna today. This is the last, the last day of the year of Karagna. So, you know, we're going to be staying focused to see what the apostles uh, or the chief apostles do in 2020. So we know it's, it's, it's going to be hit. So, uh, yeah, we've seen, we've seen many things go down. You know, Jake's still getting shot in the street. Economy's still in turmoil. World War Three mounting up. You know, even more. Things are escalating in, in the Middle East that, that Valley Jehoshaphat that the Most High prophesied about. So, you know, we, we have, we are, we're looking for these prophecies to be fulfilled and, and for the Lord to come back and take us out of hell. Right. You know, if we, if we in hell, we in hell. Right. You know, people think you got to die to go to hell if you've been, if you've been wicked. No, you in hell right now. I don't right. care what you, you know, or how you feel about you yourself and you think you're a good person or you in hell. You know, even the Edomites. Right. The Edomites are testing their own people, got their own people in hell. You know? Hey, I ain't gonna go off on a rant, but this is this is like I can say, you know, this is this this this, this Edomite is real quick. You know, at, at my job, you know, and what's so sad about it, this cat was in the military and he he can't get shit right. You know, we build trucks and you show him and then he go back and try to do it and he can't, he can't, he, he, he just don't get it, you know. And I try to cut him some slack, maybe, you know, he, he got hit upside the head. I don't know, he sell shopping or something. I don't know, but I'm just thinking, this is my, my, my mindset. This is what the military produced. <coughs> America is in big trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we, we already know America is going down, but this, this is what's coming out of the military. <laughs> and, and you listen to this guy talk, and, and you know, it's like Esau, they, they talk a good game. But here in this truth, it ain't about to talk and talk, it's about walking and walking. So, you know, hey, we just gonna go in it and, you know, I say it's an open forum, man. We pray that you brothers are edified. We didn't have uh, no particular topic at hand. So we just going to we just going to uh, go in the spirit. So we have to pray that you go. You got it. Six and verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hey, real quick, we gonna need that armor, man. We, we need it right now. Not going to need it. We need it right now. We needed it yesterday. We needed it last year. We needed it last month, last decade. If you don't got that armor. You out here, you know, as they say, trying to fake it till you make it, you ain't gonna make it. 
Because you, this is one thing that you can't fake. See, Babylon teaches just like Esau is one yes. glad you talked it out. Brother Esau, he, he gets through life just talking. Yeah. And nobody holds him to, to no standard or, or to his word. And he can just say shit. And just like the, the, the same cat, he, he told him motherfucker he could wear. And came well with his lip. I can wear better than him with my eyes closed. Right. Well, he probably attacked, but that's what they used to. And he thought right. he thought he was just gonna breeze through that. And, right. and, and, and it's a, it's a cause on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cause, man. And I I, I keep working with him, you know. Well, but but this is cause cause this is cause get mad at him, then he'll shut down. And this this one cat, and he'll shut down, but. My point is that, you know, being in this truth, you're going to have to be about it. Like, like, Master P said, be about it, about it. This is what you're going to have to be. You don't have to be about it. You can't just fake your way through this. You don't have to put that arm on. You're going to have to wear it, and you're going to have to fight. This is the fight we're in the battle. That's why I say put on your armor, because we're in the battle. Right. You can't get you can't bring the ways of Babylon into this truth. But you got a lot of people bullshitting in Babylon. A lot of people faking the phone in Babylon. But that can't be so in this work, in this ministry. You got to go. I got a quick, quick piece up. Uh, to, to the point you made about you got to, in other words, you got to walk. We got to, uh, we have to walk when we talk, you know, and not just be out on the highway and byway and putting up these lessons and not living what we're talking about it on the highway and byways and what we're saying in the different lessons that we do. This is uh, James chapter chapter 1, verse 22. It says, but, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, mm -hmm. deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask uh, straight to the point. I'm going to bring that up with you. I got it with you. Somebody had something? Oh, this is uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says and that knowing the time that now is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation near than we will believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day not in rioting and drunkenness, and not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. Read that first verse you brought up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're Romans 13 and 11. Mm -hmm. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wait without sleep. But now is our salvation here than when we believe. Yeah, so hey, you know, how much more now? Right. That the year of the Karagma then passed. And so we we seen them throughout this year, 2019, the year of the Karagma, getting things set up. You know, mm -hmm. we, we see them. you can't deny the chip. You can't say it don't exist right. because they're showing you people are getting it. People on their workplace, people partying, to go to the club, they're getting chilled. Mm -hmm. So you can't say we're making it up or it don't exist. It exists. And, and on top of that, you know, uh, we see them putting measures in place that <coughs> supports the, the, the market to be such as right. they're setting up this 5G network. Mm -hmm. that, that goes AI, D-Wave computing on the... Uh, this this D wave computing works on the uh, uh, what's the word? It'll, it'll come to me in a second. But uh, quantum, this this quantum computer. Mm -hmm. So you know, the regular computer, just like the brother got, it right. works on binary ones and zeros. And you see the one or zero when you go into quantum computing, it can be one and zero at right. the same time. So. It, in other words, it actually can compute in real time and in real space. It's like matrix. Exactly. 
like they showed in the Matrix, like they showed in uh, uh, Minority Report. That's what's coming. The brother said AI. That's what is going to give life to the, to the AI. Mm -hmm. And it's scary, man, when you see what, where this thing is going. You, man, yeah. Satan wants to take over. Right. But anyway, just going back to, to um, you know, they're setting this, this, this network of this system in place. So, right. 2019, the year of Karagma, we, we seen things being established. Now, look for this year, and I'm not saying what is or what ain't going to happen, or what is and what isn't, but look for this year for them to make it mandatory because I'm saying that based on, I got to be like Gerald Salente, the trends. Right. Everybody talking about a reset as far as the financial. You know, a reset, oh, it's going to be gold, it's going to be, uh, Cryptocurrency. Right. No, it's going to be the mark of the beast. It's right. going to be the RFID microchip. Right. right. You know, and they might tell you it's based on gold, but right. you actually going to be trading through these D wave computers, through AI. Right. right. And they know and they know it, but they can't come they out. They can't say it. Yeah. Right. No, oh, this is that beautiful, bro. Uh, yeah. But like you were saying, all the signs point to the chip. What else could they point to? Right. You know, it can't be nothing else. It's how you feel to let people trade with gold. Right. It's yeah. never the case. We've yeah. been yeah. we yeah. have yeah. gold already. Right. Right. Ain't right. nobody got no gold. Right. right. Exactly. Right. So you think they finna start issuing out their gold that right. they've stolen? Mm -hmm. Real quick, brother. Uh, oh, yeah, go back, go back into the line. Go back into the What is our order, baby? How about you have a shot? Yeah. But this is uh, Romans 13 and 11, and, and they know in the time that now it's high time to awake out of sleep, but now it's our salvation here than we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the arm of light. about your, the best movies you can think of. Two of my top favorite movies dealing with war and, and, uh, and uh, 300 in Troy. But Achilles or uh, Leonidas, if they go in the battle as cold as they were, if they go in the battle naked with no type of armor on, they knew they needed protection. So no matter how good you may be able to wield the sword, how be it, as good you may be in, 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 in battle tactics, you know at the end of the day, I need protection, man, and that's what we doing, that's what we've been doing, putting on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, all right, arming ourselves with this knowledge to prepare us for the times of coming. Come, man, and the night being far spent is this kingdom. It's talking about these right, all right. rulership. Right. Right. Because it's during the time of Paul, the Edomites were in rulership. Right. And whenever they're in rulership, gross darkness is going to cover the people. You yep. know, and this is exactly where we are right now. We're in gross darkness. Well, we are not right this world. This world is in gross darkness, you know. So, yeah, but And the scripture say in, uh, in Matthew 25 that at night, there was, at midnight, there was a cry when I was going into us uh, prophesying right. this word, you know. So it, the night represented we saw the end of Esau rulership and the end of our uh, captivity. Ephesians you know? oh. 6 and 11 again. Put on the whole <laughs> armor of Yahweh that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hmm. You know? and that's what we're preparing for, man. All right. Well, we put up again. And we we're putting the wiles, you know, mm -hmm. wiles is, is trickery. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. like this brother yeah. brought out this word one day at camp, uh, chicanery. That's wild. <clears throat> when you go into chicanery, you're talking about trickery, deception, you know, just, just, just being the devil. That's, this is what he does. This is what he excels in because this is what he was set up to do, right? So, yeah, brother. Uh, verse 12. It and says, you, and real quick, so like, you're going to have to read down because you're going to identify the, the, the order. You know? 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And you know that's what we deal with. And it's evident, man, right? because you're seeing who's being targeted, man. Right? Who, who do the elite see as the threat? The middle of the Lord, man. Right? You know, that's been all going to spiritual battle, man. Right? Not arming up with vests, bulletproof vests, not stocking up with guns, just going out and teaching the word, and that's what's threatening Esau's kingdom, man. So you see him making the necessary moves to go to war with the ones who's being spiritual, man. Okay. Okay. Right, can you read that? Uh, <coughs> like, how do you got a spiritual yeah. word? You said it ain't uh, called a bulletproof vest. <coughs> and what, what's being built up the house of David? Well, when King David was about to go to war, he had the kings on it. King Saul, he put it on and took it off, but that's not the true woman. King David, the spirit of the Lord, he had the true woman, even the most high. So he didn't need the corner on him. Same right. thing, plus, we don't need to put on a, a, a foggy bullet through the rest of the prayers on it. Yeah. You know, we got the truth. This is the way I'm working about the reason. What's the true woman? You're hollering about the truth. But King David had the rock. We got the rock. Y'all was shot. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Putting that word on, the Lord said, if you trust in him, he'll be a buffer for you. Right. I'm going to I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Because the scripture tells us right here in this very verse that it's not a, it's not a court of war. Right. It's about to explain it what we're fighting against. And you can, Bible can sign on y'all, but we got a piece of it. Can you read that uh, verse again? Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. This is, this is what the, the fight is against. And as he missed off these things, it ain't nothing corner about what the brother about to read. Go ahead, go ahead. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, and if you go into that word principalities, is chief demons. These are high level, high power demons that we dealing with. So the battle is a is a, a spiritual battle. Okay, we fighting against left hand the left hand side. Okay, with the with the, the power from the right hand side. Okay, if you go into that word principality, and then it say the uh, darkness. What is that word? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, all the witchcraft this bastard is casting out in the planet Earth, you know. But everybody else is, is on, because really that uh, that even the mark of the beast is going to be uh, pushed through a method of uh, witchcraft. He's going to he's going to push out witchcraft to, to persuade the people, which it ain't going to take much persuasion right. to take the uh, the mark of the beast. Wow, you see, mm -hmm. yeah, brother, brother. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having the, on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Mm. Above all, because um, without faith, you can forget it. Right. And that's what separates the call from, from the spiritual, man. When the men that spiritual is operating on faith, the guys that are strong. First of all, man, Esau got, we're not going to get into the, the, the futuristic weapons. His blessing was a sword, right. and you know the modern day sword. This is devil got robots that's armed and ready to go, man. What the fuck is a bulletproof vest going to do against a damn robot? <laughs> yeah, they got microwave weapons that they had in their operation for decades. Yeah, if you watch Esau movies, he show you what he got to start the eraser. He likes to bring it. When you see um, King has fallen, yeah. you know, boy, they, they got drones that got a bomb, and they just have these drones that are flying over city right. and they can, they can detonate them and they don't, 
they would be probably within 30, 50 yards from him and kill him. Right, come and come, stop. Right, but they, but they're drones. Right. So, you know, when they show in these movies, what you have to understand that uh, Hollywood is, is grossly funded now by the military industrial complex is why you see all these. All these type of movies that, that uh, you know, they showcase their, their weapon, you know, from all the Marvel movies to, to you know, uh, like Angel Has Fallen, and you, you can name them. Right, the, the military is, is funding uh, Hollywood for the most part, you know. They got a, Hollywood got a, a, a huge budget from the military industrial complex. So they, they, they show you what, what they have, and your gap ain't going to cut it. Right, right, right. You know? Yes. <laughs> your, your gap ain't going to cut it, man. They don't, you know, these devils in Hollywood just ain't that creative. Right. They ain't come up with all this right. shit. No, they, they get it from somewhere. Yes. They get it from some, uh, uh, a, a factual source, mm -hmm. which is, uh, they show them things that they, that they have. Yeah. So, you know, brother, that, right. that was a beautiful point right there. Right. Yeah. Rocket launchers and grenades and a uh, hundred round drum, and they were good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Hey, yeah, you can look so Because they show you that, like, when they, when they do uh, those AI shows, like, they show you the new technology we got there. We got this robot and we built that robot. Man, they got shit out there, man, like, like animals look like dogs and shit run upstairs, open yeah. doors, and yep. and on with weaponry, man. I mean, it's like, yeah, he, he got shit, man. This this like I said, you you get it. It happened so far. Imagine is able to think on his own and make conscious decisions. That's what artificial intelligence gives these uh, machines, man. And he saw no, he's just a mad scientist. He didn't grew up, Dexter's lab didn't grew up into a mad scientist. Right, you know? That's why you don't need to find the right. That's it. Because you know? we're not going to be able to use any uh, might of our own aside from the you know, machine that we're shining. These things have to be practiced. These things have to be executed on a daily basis to where you don't, you don't fight, you know, without your spiritual honor. You know, I mean, King David and himself, you know, he did the physical honor, but he also was equipped before that. Because he was fighting lions and bears, you know what I mean? So he was already going through adversity in himself. So likewise with us in this preparation, you know, the preparation is more just making sure that you're equipped. You know, a shield and a mm -hmm. buckler. You know, these are the things which you know, which I have given us to actually withstand them. We're with our start from 16 again, like Ephesians uh, 6 and 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. And it is the fiery darts. That, that's, that's what they get you. You know, the fire and darts is just from, from, from thoughts that pop up in your head. You know, like they show you in the cartoons, you got the, 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 the red <laughs> band on your left shoulder, yeah, yeah. and then the angel on, on the right, but the, the one, the, you know, the devil telling you, hey, man, don't want to do that. You know, hey, that's how the demons work. Right, right. You know, you get them thoughts in your head. Demons and principalities. All right there to, right. To, to put that in your, your head, man. All you gotta do is read the book of Daniel when uh when uh Daniel was praying and uh who was it? Uh was that Michael? But he said he said uh I, he basically said I would have been there sooner, but right, the right. Prince of Persia was it was that right. had withstood me. Right, right, right. You know, right. And, and what, what the angel was saying is that, you know, they were trying to persuade him to, to do a certain thing, but mm -hmm. his mind was so strong, he was so fixed on doing something else that, you know, 
But that's how it's showing you how the principalities work. They they put these, these ideas in your head. These are those fiery darts, you know, these darts that tell you, oh man, you know, it's okay, you can deal with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a, that's a fiery dart. But you don't have to you don't have to have that hold on to exist. Right. You don't need that hold on. You can't just have a shield by itself, you know, and, and and doing some flip flops and some, <laughs> some cargo shorts. Yeah. And some toes out. You got to have you got to have your toes. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have your you, you got to have the whole nine yards. Every time yeah, the sword, yeah. the shield, right. breastplate, right. you know, all that to, to stand because mm -hmm. as brother bringing out, that's in, that's telling you or oh, that represents this word. If you lack it in any one point in this word, then God can get through that. That's right. right. And, and, you know, bring disaster. Right. And, and ruin the point. Right. So you, you have to be on point all the way around. Go yeah, brother. Now, I will say, too, them, them, uh, you know, the thoughts come in your mind, the wicked thoughts come into your mind, which is nothing but demons playing on the mind. And then you go out here and it's easy for you to execute them, them thoughts because this whole kingdom is set up in, in wickedness, mm -hmm. you know? So the, the, the wicked thought can, oh, can uh, uh, produce the wicked action because everything is, 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 in, is in sync with each other. Mm -hmm. The wicked thought that come in your mind is in sync with what's going on out here in, in this world. Right. Nothing but uh, wickedness, you know? They show that in them cartoons that the brother is referring to, you got the, the little angel and then you got the, the, the devil on the other shoulder. Once you comply with that devil, they bind that good angel and put his halo over his arms and chuck him to the side. Because yeah. now you done, all right, yeah, come on, little devil. You right. right. You done made an agreement with Satan. Yeah, yeah it, it ain't going to be that bad. And, and ultimately, the Lord forgive me. Let's go do it. Now the, the good angel, he up there sitting with the halo, his, his arms and everything stuck in the halo. He can't, they done binded him, and now you done ran with the devil, man. So that, that's perfect point. That's a good, uh, you know, yeah, a good analogy as to what the wilds are, man. You know, you know we've seen that movie, the Idle Wild. Yeah, come, yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that flask. Yeah. Every time you try to come to a decision, you know, look for us to yeah, it ain't far yeah. from your reach. I mean, it can just go on in your mind, but to actually go in there and uh, do it, it ain't far. She right there. All you got to do is call. Mm -hmm. You know? Matt, chapter 12. 43 it says when an unclean spirit is gone out of the man right he walked through dry places seeking rest and findeth none then he said i will return into my house from whence i came out and when he has come he find it empty swept and garnished then goeth he and taken with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there. In the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. And so those scenarios that the brothers are going into is that decision that we saw the so-called white man is going to place before you in the hour of temptation. To where like, if you constantly make those decisions to sin, those decisions to where you error in accordance with Having this light to protect you, this armor of God, but you know, shot. Those demons are going to come in full blast. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to glitch you then, <laughs> because because you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you will not, you you made allowance for that demon to actually come in to bind up that strong man and to actually bring in more wicked demons for himself. So that's why that protection of this armor is necessary to where that decision is already made. Like, like when you anoint yourself and you protect you. You put on quote unquote lotion or shea butter, whatever you do, like in every orf orifice you have. Because if you don't, it, it'll be ashy and it'll turn into like, you know, gangrene and infection or whatever the case may be. 
so it will be deteriorating. So likewise, with you not having that whole armor of Yahweh Shemar Shah and making that decision once on whether or not you want to serve Yahweh Shemar Shah, you want to serve Mammon, you want to serve you know, Esau, you want to serve his wicked deeds, um, that in itself prepares you and, and makes provisions against the laws of the government here to come in and you know, bind you up. And it said seven. It says, more. Yeah, uh, Matthew 12 and 45. Then go he and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. So, you know, he bringing in like, you know, more powerful, we talked about principalities, right? Uh, uh, isn't it what you said? Chief demons? Right. 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 So, so, those principalities are chief demons. You're not dealing with a, a low level demon now, you know? So whatever you make provision for, it's going to be part of, I mean, it's kind of like a bad habit, as they say. You know what I mean? That bad habit, once you make that that wrong decision to go against your house by Shemino Shadow, or what does the scripture say about rebellion? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Why? Because you were putting things before your house by Shemino Shadow instead of putting in that armor before all the things that the devil may you know, portray or use. That's right. That's right. It says, then goeth he and take with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. So, like, you, you can't get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, 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 hey Jake has dealt with that before. You know what I'm saying? Brother, hey, man. Oh, well, not brother, but, uh, you know, Jake in the world, come over. Like, hey, man, I need to chill there a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Give people feedback under me. You know, a year later, he's still there. You can't get rid of them. Not that he did it, but, like, I'm just using that scenario. It says, <laughs> It says, and the last state of that man is worse than the first, even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. So that's what's coming to two thirds of our people. But they ain't going to have that armor. They ain't going to have that anointing. They ain't going to have that protection of the Yahweh Yahweh So, So be grateful. Be appreciative. You know, understand the mercy of Yahweh Yahweh is giving you by understanding what these words are to be actually uh, withstand in this day, this up, uh, upcoming trial of your faith. You know? You, you're not, you don't have a shield just to say, I have a shield of faith. You don't have a sword to say, I have a sword just to say, I have a sword. You're going to have to use these things in battle. Yeah. Hey, all right, Bible Bashad, could you go back and read uh, where you started from? What is the three points I would like to make on this? Absolutely. Uh, this is back in uh, Matthew 12. And we start 40. We start at 42. Now, 43. It says, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walking through dry places. Now, stop real quick. Mm -hmm. We all went through that uh, process because we was all in the world. All of us that now know that we Israelites and we uh, were given grace and uh, faith to get the understanding of these scriptures, we was all in the world and we were infested with uh, unclean spirits, with demons, you know? And uh, when we were woken up to this truth, that's when uh, the unclean spirits left from out of our uh, abode, our, our, uh, our body, so to speak, our, our mind. That's, that's it. So yeah, all of us went through that, you know? Can you uh, go? Uh, it says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of, uh, this is Matthew 12 and 43, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. Because you got Jake's out there, they never going to encounter this process. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have it to where the unclean spirit leave out of their uh, mind, so to speak. That happened to us. Jake that's in the world, and that ain't adhering to the truth, they going to continue on uh, uh, dwelling in the ways of that world, in a demonic uh my friend. Well, you got it right. It says, he walking through dry places seeking rest and finding none. So that demon wants to leave out of, it left out of all of us, you know, and that new demons, the different demons that came out of all of us, it goes throughout the uh, the world seeking another body to, to inhabit. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. See? Or mind, or in other words, a mind to inhabit. Right, yeah, because you know. this truth is starting to dwell in you, so it has to, it has to escape. Exactly. Um, verse 44, it says, Then he said, I will return into my house from which I came out, 
and when he has come, he find it empty. So he, the demon comes, let me go check out that vessel <laughs> or that body that I came out of, right. or that bridge of mind that I came out of, right. and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now what should happen and what's happening, what, what, what right. is happening is that we're being filled up, our mind is being filled up with uh, the scriptures, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. See, that's that going into that, uh, that army. You see? So the demon is going to come back and check. Let me go check back on that nigga. <laughs> you know? Not on the brother, right. but the nigga that we all was. What, what go ahead, son. Were you through? No, no, no. Go bring your preacher about me. Uh, this is uh, Philippians 2 and 5. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in the Mashiach and Yahweh Shah. So, going back to the point, uh, when that unclean spirit is gone, it should come back and find Yahweh Shah. Yeah, exactly. Right. But it, right now, it says, mm -hmm. We come back and find the clean sweat. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, it said, He find it empty, swept, and garnished. Now nah, that mean that 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 we don't that mean that body or that rhythm or mind what it really is mm -hmm. is not uh is it does not feel with Yahweh by Shun Yahweh Shah. Right. Well, with, oh, like the scriptures say, the woman. Right. Okay. So now that's when the demons can come back in. Right. That one demon it then brings seven more demons stronger. Right. Because you have you have no protection. You you have nothing to protect you from that demon from entering back in. You know? That that's what this word should be doing. It should be a, a, a defense towards wickedness. Right. You know? That that that's what this life does. That was it. Then uh you could feel that as a little that was it. Whatever you have to just real quick and I'm gonna go to six Ephesians uh four I'm sorry thirteen and these to be all coming into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of the Most High into a perfect man, into the measure of the stature of the fullness of Masiach, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craft, craftiness whereby they lock and wait to deceive them. Okay? So it's saying we come into the unity of, of, of faith, man. That's the, that's the common um, the, uh, denominator, man. okay? And the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, okay? And to the measure of the stature of the fullness of the Mashiach, man, okay? And then putting that on that, that arm, man. The knowledge of, 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 of truth and righteousness, man, okay? And it says, in John 14, that we won't be, that we will be no more children tossed to and fro and carrying about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive, man. And that's what if we saw there, man. He's here with nothing but cunning craftiness, man. If you think you've seen the grace of Esau, shit, you ain't seen shit, man. Like, man, uh, 2020, okay? Because they got that, uh, that, uh, how the scripture said, that, that advice that they want to, that they want to achieve, man. Okay, which is they the enterprise. Right. Mm -hmm. Say that again, bro? They want to uh, fulfill their enterprise. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which they, which they, you know, the most high got them in the trick bag, and they, and they, 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 they feel like they want to really put it out. But us as men of the law, we all really, we all depend for the Lord. We, we already, we already know. It. Okay. We got, we got, we got faith. Not only these people, we walk with it, and we put on our arm, and we know we, we, we more than bulletproof, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. When those dogs, when them dogs shoot it, bing, 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 right. they, right. they fall and they fall into the ground. Okay? That's that's the strength and the power of Yahweh Bashan. Yahweh Shah. Like the word is the bulletproof thing. But it don't just protect your vitals up in here in your midst or your chest and your midst. It protects your vitals up in here in your midst or your chest and your midst. But you hold your head. Cause you can't put a bulletproof vest on your on your, on your head, you know. So the word protects spirit through the spirit protects your own protects us in the spirit, you know. Yeah, yeah, because the fight is spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like, like ultimately, everything brother had went into in Ephesians six chapter is is spiritual. Like we are fighting a spiritual warfare, so there's nothing carnal that we'll be able to utilize in order to have uh, the, the 
ability to conquer any uh, adversity. You know, Esau is going to have to try to come in the flesh, but how we win is always through the spirit. You know, that's why the end would have a couple more verses. But it said, which is the word of your house. Mm -hmm. But then you know that's what Paul read. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, that's, so you could take a headshot if you got the, the word, if you're on with, with the word, you know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because it's like, you know, Bob, a lot of right things. Uh, I was looking for the hands, but. Uh, yeah, so my, I was going to say, uh, can you part the scripture, I'll let this mind be in you, as you saw my shiat. When Satan came to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, he used the scriptures, he had the four on him. Right. Satan said, right. shit, he's going to break, and he was hungry, it's fast as far as the Indies. So he tempted him with something he wanted the most at the time. So Satan was like, she wants some bread, and Yahweh Shah, he went back to the world, which goes to that last verse, the, right. the, the sword. That's the most important thing. And then when he said next, but shit, uh, the ruler that got to be all these kings, well, that's what that faith kicked in. I wish I had faith to wait on his king. He knew it was coming to be released. So he said, move around. And say love. Because why? He had the whole world on So, you know, so, you know. That's the example we find. It's the problem. Hey, the scripture said, what's the word? What's the devil? He should flee. Right. 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 Oh, okay. Review. No, resist. Resist. Oh, resist. 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 All right, that's right. That's uh, you know what I'm saying. Like the weapons that we need, man, is, is this word. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to be on a corner level. You know what I'm saying? On Esau's level, get, you know, uh, you know I'm saying AKs and, you know what I'm saying, things like that. This is our, uh, you know what I'm saying, weapon right here. That's something else we saw this year. And, you know, Jake is supposed to be in this truth. Right. Lowering themselves to Esau level, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. getting on that low vibration of, yeah. uh, you know, going to pose with guns or just expose that hand, yeah. you know. Yeah, we, we, that's not, that's not our strength. Right. Our strength is this world. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, you got to take it and walk in the walk. Mm -hmm. And don't think that this is just some, some random scriptures coming out, even though this is all the form, the, the spirit is going somewhere. And where the spirit is going, it's showing that, you know, all the spirit that the brother bringing out the point to one thing is that we're going to have to be heavily armored that's it. for what's about to come down in the pipe. That's the final battle. 2020 is going to be heavy. And, you know, it, it, hey, I'm going to just leave it at that. 2020 is going to be, it's going to be a monster. And if you ain't heavily armored with the armor of your house by the you might, you know, fall by the wayside. So, you know, hey, take heed of what, what, what the Spirit is saying, you know? Because, uh, yeah, you, you got Jake, they, they want to show off their guns and, and this and that. That's, that's played out, right? Yeah, you know? That shit right. got power among members. Yeah. But if you go against Esau, you're going to find out how much power, uh, <laughs> right, some gun power and a projectile. She right. have right. when they come in on the whole new platform. Right. A, a, a higher level on the whole new platform. Right. Mm -hmm. And the brother's going into, brother Yagadal, they, they got ultrasonic, subsonic, you know, they got frequency yeah. weapons. Right. 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 So they just dealing with frequency. <laughs> they can ball your, ball yes. your internal. Right. They can move your, your, your body temperature so high you your organs really fall mm. in your body. And they they did this shit. They that's documented on uh is that the Panama? Right, 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 right. So they'll go and they'll yeah, take these weapons. Right. Yeah. And that was like that was like in the eighties. Yeah. So and they was melting people. Right, right. You know? So right. yeah, they talk about back in the uh, yeah. Panama. Yeah, the 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 Pan
Well, they went to take take over the federal right. 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 I don't know how many mm-hmm. brothers seen it, but when they thought they they say, look, the government supplies, they had all these guns to cheat me, so I bought up everything, so they got stocked up with all these assault rifles, grenades, uh, remote detonators, mm-hmm. and they thought they was about to go do damage, so they pulled up to the projects, he saw, pulled out about four or five drones, and killed all of them, except for one of them. That's just, I was thinking about that. Like, you need right. to think that that's going to protect you. Right. You saw going to wipe your ass out quick when you got all the damn guns in your hand. Right. This shit. Uh, but they have guns already that street that can, that's on the street that can penetrate a bulletproof ass. Right. He started just saying, you know what? We're not even going to play with them. Just shoot a little time to have the whole come. You know? I'll always destroy it. Fit for it. That's another platform. Yeah. And they gonna release them. Yes. Cause a lot of a lot of when they go into we like to get Revelation 13 with one of you brothers all that. But uh, when it speaks about it, it goes into he calls it all. Mm-hmm. A lot of people gonna get chipped through vaccine vaccination. Mm-hmm. It's all mm-hmm. they already say. Yeah. Oh, you lying? <laughs> they already doing. It. Yeah. People get the chip through vaccination, mm-hmm. so if he unleashes a biological agent, mm-hmm. people gonna mm-hmm. run and get these these shots, and then the chip is gonna be in the shot. Right, right. right. And what he gonna have? He gonna have a uh, a disease that the, the what's it called? The Center for Disease Control. The CDC didn't unleash really. They unleashed these uh, biological weapons. Then you run to the doctor to get a. Uh, a vaccine, and that's the you know now you uh you you chipped. He creating a chaotic situation, right? To get you in a pain. Oh, or or or, or right. hey, or or you go what you trying to escape from the disease you trying to get vaccinated from to protect you from this disease that they telling you is out there. You go and get the vaccine, and they put the damn shit in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Somebody know on both sides. All right. Uh, uh, real quick, this is uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. They take covering, they take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Because really, that's ultimately why they're doing all of these feats as far as trying to take matters in their own hands, thinking that they're going to be able to, you know, protection of Esau, fight against Esau, knowing when they outmatch. Is because ultimately they don't have a covering of the Alvai Shemir Shah. They don't have that protection. They don't have that armor. You know, so they have to use the armor of Esau. You know, if you don't have the spirit's armor of the Alvai Shemir Shah, you left ass out to really defend yourself. And that's what two thirds and all the rest of the other heathen nations are going to see is that you don't have any protection. Right. All these fake gods that you've been calling on, all these pagan customs and traditions you've been practicing, none of those things will account for this day of trouble that we won't read about in Abel's uh, fifth chapter. Right. right. Hey, you want to know what? You got the uh, doomsday preppers out right. there. Mm-hmm. You got some of them, and most of the day eat them, Mike. They saying they got something for a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right. Right. Basically, unlimited plans to overcome the day of doom. Right. You know, which is all. Go ahead. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that counsel is these holy words, mm-hmm. you know, which we've been talking about is, is that whole ultimate protection, you know, internally, spiritually, every area. I mean, what are they talking about in, in, in combat? You're 20 and uh, you're 6, six. Right. all the rest of that stuff. You can't watch all of that. No. Right. So, so who's watching, you know, for you? Right, but if you don't have that protection, you don't have that covering, then you're not going to be protected. That's what this word does. Okay? It gives you protection in which you have no idea about. It gives you uh, 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 foresight. It gives you hindsight. Mm-hmm. You know, It gives you the dynamics in which you're entering into to where you can actually overcome it. It says, they take cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, which is, you know, the reason why they're taking, you know, their measures in their own hand. It says, 
that walked to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the street of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt because that's what they really are doing. They're taking matters in their hands based upon what Egypt says. This will be able to protect you. And it's not. Right. None of those things. Right. Because Esau in itself has already tested what is the fail, failure point exactly. of those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you right. Just made it right. right. Like, like, like you got a bulletproof vest, but you know, as brothers are saying, you know, there, there's other measures that actually will destroy and, 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 and uh, what's the word? Make deficient that bulletproof vest. Whereas this spirit of Yahweh by Shemi al that in itself cannot be, uh, uh, what's the word? Infiltrated. Right. It can't be penetrated. Right, right. 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 You know what I'm saying? There is no weapon that formed against it right. that's going right. to prosper. <laughs> that's the whole point, right? Yes. You know? <laughs> Verse 3, it says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right. You know? You using all of these measures to think that you're trusted in Egypt when in actuality, the spirit of your house by Shemuel is what you needed to protect yourself. And that's what the clouds in the, in the purge found out. That's what two thirds gonna find out. Everybody's gonna find out that if you do not have that that covering of the Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, you're done. Hey, you know what that go into? You gotta be on the correct doctrine. You can't just have any old name because the scriptures clearly tell us what's that uh, Acts was it four and twelve? Twelve, right? Four and twelve or twelve? Four and twelve. Four, four and twelve. We gotta, you gotta have the the one and only uh, the proper name. Well, not only one name, but two names: Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You also, you gotta be on the fully correct doctrine. You gotta understand that Cornelius is not a Edomite; he's Israelite. Right. Okay, the only salvation is only for the nation of Israel. And I'm I'm saying that because you have the different alphabet groups out here that know the Israelites and. You not you don't have the full long one unless you have the one hundred percent true. You see the fight against what's coming, right? Because you have some of the groups. I'm not gonna say all of them, but some of those groups out there that are showcasing that they're prepared on a corner level to what's coming in these last days. You know, and that ain't gonna do do nothing for you. What's gonna help you and get you through is this is uh, understanding these scriptures. Right. You have some more? Uh, last verse. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 3. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Mm -hmm. Jump over to 52 and 4. Isaiah 52. Okay, come, come, come. This is Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12. It says, For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the power of Israel will be your re, re reward. Oh, yeah. reward. Right. Re reward. Right. Your re reward. Right. Re reward. Re reward. So it's real real like you yeah, said, so I can't watch right. it. Right. So the most I say, I'm going to go before you. Mm -hmm. And then he say, basically, he's going to have your back. Right. When you, when you look at that word, uh, R E R E W A R D, mm -hmm. right? It, you saying like he gonna he gonna pull up slack. He gonna he got to he got to he, he gonna go before you and he gonna uh, come behind you. Right. So yeah, yeah you gonna be you gonna be beautiful if you like the brother saying you forget the doctrine. And that's the only way. When the scriptures say people talking about oh yeah I know the Lord. No, if you ain't in the doctrine that the most yeah, exactly. I put through the apostles at GMS, you know. You don't know the Lord. You know, you know it. You might know sweet Jesus. Right. You know, right. 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 And all these things, man, they took that bag, man. They set it up. He, man, he, bro, watch this year. You're going to see all kind of, you think, folks surprised with the bulletproof vest with the shape of you. see all kind of other things pop up to deliberately deceive you. Yeah, okay? 
is not important. You don't need to know the name. They'll get the name and the key. And they also teaching that a time of Jacob's trouble was not going to come. Yeah. Basically, they we good, we good knowing we Israelites, and then we just going to be, it's going to be a third world war, and then the deliverance come. Right. But the scriptures clearly talk about a time of Jacob's trouble. Right. All hell is going to break loose in America and around mm -hmm. the world. You have good Israelites. Israelites. Yeah. No, just to back you up. You still know that. Yeah, that goes right into Jacob's trouble. This is Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. It reads, <coughs> Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right, like the text. They say, Oh, the day of the Lord is going to be a walk in the court. It's going to be, yeah. you know, this going to happen when the Lord is going to come deliver us. That's why I say, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. And the bishop. All we Christians. <coughs> exactly. Right. Because the, the, the bishop is telling them this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Bishop, Bishop mm -hmm. Nathaniel. He's the one. Being interviewed before the was the Southern Poverty, what is it called? Lost 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 right. Lost Tell them that basically it's not going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. It's just going to be there was war, but poof, like, you know, we are easy transition. Right, right, right. 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 I was in jail. Right. He said his followers looking forward exactly. to that day. So that's right. right. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, light it up. He said, it's a lot of God. Wow. He used the exact words. He said, lot of God. He said, lot of God. When he said, lot of God, Jake should have stood up and looked. But that's, that's showing that going back to what we said, uh, Jake don't have the whole woman. Right. Because you need to be preparing your mind for what's to come. That's what we're doing right now. We're preparing our spirits, you know, to where we don't have to, we're not going to be in the same mental state as the rest of the uh, J in the world. That's right. Because Isaiah 33 and 6 tells us that knowledge and wisdom and stability of our time. All right. But go ahead and finish that. Finish that one, brother. Come. What want you that desire the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you? Right. To what end is it for you? Because the scriptures tell us that even the righteous should scarcely be saved. You know, you know even, even brothers, solid brothers in this group, don't be nervous, man. Yeah. They don't be no, you know, oh, I'm all good. Right? Yeah. No, even the righteous should scarcely Not be saved. Not even Judah, bro. Judah. Yeah, Judah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you got it, Doc. For what end is it, for, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It asked the question, then he gave the answer. Exactly. That also cuts that waggy taggy Christian doctrine. That is all good. But it says it's a day of darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bad man. Paul mm -hmm. went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? So this is telling you what the day of the Lord is going to be like. So all that, you know, floating into, the, you know, into the horizon, you know, riding off into the sunset and all that shit. Right? No, the scriptures say, woe unto you, first of all, that desire the day of the Lord. To what end, right. to what end shall it be unto you, you know? To what end, you know? People that are saying that and they looking for, you know, oh Jesus, getting us ready, all that other <laughs> shit. They don't know what their end is going to be. Right, right. So if they know right. that the Lord is coming for judgment, right. and ain't none of us in no particular, you know, none of us are in that, that slot of certainty. Right. You know, we can say, oh, I know I'm good. Right. right. And while the scripture say, to what end is it for you? Right. right. Hopefully. Right. So, we going to be fearing and trembling like we supposed to be. We right. got these clowns on me, you know, and I can't wait to, for the Lord. You no, know, you don't want to see the Lord. Right, right, right. right. You don't want to see the Lord every time. That's going to be frightful, you know. The Lord present, man, yeah, every knee shall bow. Yes, yeah, right. saying that for a reason. Yeah. Because without him, him even having to say nothing, you going you to feel that. You're going you to feel that excellency and the power. You're going to 
dropping fear, yes. right? Mm -hmm. You don't kill me. But for a lot of you people, you judge, you gonna get that rap. Right. A lot of you take you two thirds so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all gonna get it, man. Especially if you church going to take it. Right. Because right. y'all don't know what it's about. Right. And then the Lord is gonna be as a man did flee from the lion mm -hmm. and the Batman, and that's Jacob's trouble. Right. You know? You 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 escape the the uh, roundup. You know they they might be going door to door like Hurricane Katrina and shit. And, uh, they're just taking Jake captive. You might escape that just to run into or uh, 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 catch a you know get hit by a biological right agent right you know right. come down with some shit to where you you know you just fucked up right. 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 And your whole shit sees up, you can't move. You, you know, there's no telling. You start right. foaming at the mouth, like, or turn into a zombie. You know, they got some shit to zombie fight. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. 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 See, you. Okay. Right. Right. you can't, you can't predict this. That's Jacob's struggle. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. That nanotechnology is all yeah. shit, bro. Like, that's a whole nother level. Yeah, right. 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 I think you made it to the woods. Right. 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 Yeah, they got hurt. Hey, what about the animals? It might be an army of squirrels they get. Not a squirrel. A squirrel. Esau was getting chipped in loaches and spiders. Damn. Right, right, right. Right, right. Right, damn. The squirrels. They came back by the military complex, Hollywood is. What they show you in that video? They yeah. show you that they, yeah, with, yeah. they got the raccoon in, in the, the, the uh, <laughs> with, with the raccoon. Rock, 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 yeah, yeah, rock, rock, yeah. 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 Talking shit. Yeah. The tree. How did they get that way? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So, they, it's the lab. Right. And then you got the most high don't put this, like the scripture says, the most high don't put the spirit on the animals. Right. So, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a uh, Jumanji out here in the street. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Esau weaponized everything. And he's trying to escape the walls of Esau. You see something like the Lord, you've been hungry for a couple of days, thinking about eating dinner, thinking about eating dinner. <laughs> <Right. laughs> but Lord willing, if we really look, we ain't gonna have to, you know, right. worry about that. Right. We, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't see these things in front of our faces, you know? And there's gonna be some Jake that, that's still in charge of deep business, and come pay check and see that shit. Right down. Yeah. Why you come? Break down the need of abomination, how do you do it? Break down stuff. Yeah, right. Here's the vengeance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we ain't got a program. It was a little bit of a program. It was a little bit of a program. Oh, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? So unlike the waggy taggy Christians teach, y'all got Jesus floating in on the goddamn cumulus numbers, shaking everybody's hands, high-fiving and hugging necks and shit. Give him one more chance. We give him one more chance. We gonna ask you before we pull this sword out. Like, you, you repent? Oh yeah, Jesus shit. I changed my mind. Well, He's no, get, get on the cloud. No, hell no. Come on. I come to set a sword. Right. He's not coming back when the Lord returns. It's judgment time. Clean your case and, and, and oh, you got a shot. I'm sorry, Lord. I, I knew. All oh, that's over that. Right. The time for that is right now. Right. Repent now. Right. That's what the, the Lord said that when he was on the scene. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is in hand. What that mean, man? Quit being the nigga you are. Be sorrowful with, for what you're doing and, and beg your power to right, forgive right. and not your offense, man. Shit. Yeah, right. And what you were speaking on, uh, Sirach, uh, chapter 51 and verse 30, work your work the times, and in his time, he will give you a reward. You know, the times mean beforehand, you know, beforehand, before the destruction. Before the, the financial collapse, before World War Three, before all of that, man, you know, you want to come into the truth and we'll do the will of the Yahweh Yahweh. Yahweh. You know?
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And, you know, that's going into the family of the word. That's realizing that before, you know, these things happen as far as, you know, this, this day of the Lord, this day of evil, this day of darkness and not light, is that realizing that we're going to be out on the highways and byways only for a limited time. Right, right. You know, and this is the only place you're going to be able to find your house by the You know, this is the only place where you can actually receive that anointing, that armor, you know, that that truth, you know, that wisdom and knowledge that, that's going to be your stability. Because we're the only ones through the spirit of Yahweh, she can to actually is preparing and knowing what's about to fall out of one, aka America. Right. And, we're, and we're actually training for it. You know what I'm saying? You know, how many other times have you seen a group of men all come together, you know, in order, to you know, to, to actually, sincerely, you know, plead to Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah for protection to where we can all make, you know? Like, like even Esau's army, they don't pray, you know what I'm saying, when they go to battle and shit. They do it you know, they just, you know, turn up and go to blood, you know? That's how they get down. It's like, oh, you know, you know, right, so, you know, right. so maybe that was yeah, there you go. Amen. So, so the whole point is, like, if you're not seeking out by Shemel Shah while he may be found, then these days and what you're talking about, it, it, it's going to be literally hell on you. It's going to be as if you ran into a bear, you know, and then, or if you ran into a, a lion and a snake. And, and all of these scenarios are going to befall you, and you're going to fail miserably. Okay? Um, yeah, I mean, that, I mean you got to think about how terrified you are running from a bear. Or uh, any group, bro. You get spooked when a dog Oh, dog, at right. You. A cat might hiss at you. You'd be like, you know, I'm a little fish. But imagine the terror that's going through you, going through your spirit at that time, and then you. Right. And then, bam, holy calamity. And here go another calamity. Right. You're not going to escape. Right. You know, right. The brother jokingly said it, you know, but, but Christianity is something that, you know, people are going to lean their arm on. Right. And they're going to get bit. Right. right. By, 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 by COVID. Right. You're going to say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's, it's going to be like Final Destination. Right. You know? yeah. right. Like, like, like every scenario in which they fall into, they don't realize that those fake gods they have been calling on them. They were not of any power. They're not any power. You know? So it, it, it I mean it, it, it's crucial that, that we understand the gravity of Yahweh Shemel Shah returning and how, as we had said, like this is the time for grace and mercy. Like judgment, he's coming back with judgment. Like it ain't gonna be no like 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 brothers going into. There won't be any pleading. Right. Scripture says, Lord is going to plead with all flesh. By right. what? Right. 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 You know, and really, you know, we're going to rely on a lot of you by Shemel Shah's grace and mercy, you know, because all, all we can really do is, is plead with the Lord to have mercy on us. We, we, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, Lord willing, you know, our offering, you know, the, 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 the uh, making our body a living sacrifice is acceptable, you know, but ultimately, a a the swaying of the Lord is going to be many, you know. And, and those spirits of vengeance, man, hey, they ain't gonna have no conscience. Right. They, yeah. they, they, they just going through like just like it was with the Pinto. You know what I'm saying? You got blood on your, on your doorpost. Up your high white shit out shot, that's just blood. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have you gotta have that ingredient going back to the hundred percent doctrine. You gotta have that full protection of your high white shit out shot. It's a lot. It's a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Bad exemption. Oh, right. 
What was it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because like that exemption goes into that protection. You're not gonna get exemption without protection. That that is protection, right? That's good. Yeah, that's the point. From from the day of, of, of the Lord, right? Like 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 that's what, that's salvation. That that's what we're actually doing. We're making we're making our body a living sacrifice to where God by Shem Shai can reward us or or, or uh, have our rearward that protection as we go into change.
Yeah. What was the scripture you just read with Will? Oh, my staff. The last scripture you just read? Isaiah. I just think it's really that's a lesson. 26, 8, and 9. Because that word will, man, it say will. That's not optional. There's no option with the word will. Will mean it's going to happen. Just like the Lord's will be done. That's not optional. The Most High's will is going to get done, man. Like right. he says, he's working his name. And he's going to be set. And just real quick about the shot in Psalm 65 and 5, it reads, By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, O power of our salvation, who what the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea. Man. Okay? So by terrible things in righteousness we be answered through the most high power, man. Okay? Some things will be pleasant, seemingly pleasant, some things will be terrible, man. Okay? But it's all be done in righteousness. Man. Okay? So that's the most high. When the house shot comes back, he comes and said everything, do the work of the Father, said everything back in the first order, like, like, it, like, it, like, it, like it should. Okay? And it's not going to, well, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Okay? It's not going to be a pretty sight. And like the fact that we're going to talk about, I said earlier, we're going to be shaking on our feet when we see some of these things. Okay? Because we ain't going to, bro, it ain't going to, we ain't going to be able to breathe beside of me for two. We we are on the chairs, man, yeah. looking down at that. And before that moment, man, y'all about to be racing, talking to them about the car. And terrible things and righteousness, man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. The blood's talking about two thirds being put to death, all these heathens being put to death. That's love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like this, Nick. Nick, Nick, even when that cracker came up there, talking about, uh, why y'all. Hostile. We said hostile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, they don't know, man. And the scriptures say, uh, he who increases knowledge increases sorrow, right? You know, and we, most of the us the top knowledge of the world, right? Right? And with that knowledge comes the knowledge of. Most of the people we know don't die. Right, exactly. Right, Get your mind wrapped around him, right? I did. Vibration had to be pushed, you know. And they ain't the same. We're not strolling down a lot of pop life. No, so, right, yeah. Why would we be smiling? And then we entering, but we in a time of war, but the war is going to get hotter. You know, I got to put the priest in the middle of the IGP. Because that goes into part of the reason why we're not smiling. I mean, of course, we understand that we're in a spiritual. Not only that, like we see the things that are happening and how they're being justified by the wicked. So until those things are taken out of power, as scripture says in Job 9 and 24, the earth uh, being given into the hand of the wicked. Like everything that we're going to see is going to be a form of vexation, you know. But, but this is the reason why we sigh and cry. If, if, if you have, uh, read that real quick, that uh, Romans 9 and 4. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ezekiel, 
Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, it says, And the Lord said unto them, Go through the, go through the midst of the city, right. through the midst of Jerusalem, right. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them. That's, yeah. the, that's the reason why men, you know, scares and smile, you know, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of this society. Because the society is anti-Messiah. Right. You know? And Brother was talking about how, you know, the reason why, you know, Esau goes in the scriptures and reads thou shalt not and actually does the complete opposite. Right. You know? So so that creates abominations. That creates the society which we're living in, but it also creates the reason why we should be signing and crying. You know? All of these things that scripture says, you know, are, are double one against another. You know, so so while us seeing wickedness, us being in this captivity, us crying and signing for all of our nation, now we understand what righteousness is to where we can come back to you by Shabbat in sincerity and truth. You know, to where we know that, like, in order to get through this situation, we're going to need that whole armor. It's, it's not going to be anything that we're going to make it. These abominations that we see, are going to take the Yahweh Shem outside in order to destroy them. Right. And, and, and that's what our people are failing to realize, is that the way we galvanize is through Yahweh Shem Yahweh That is the only way that we actually have an opportunity to act life. Anything other than that is going to fail. So, so that, what's that? It is failing. It is failing, right. Because it doesn't, it's, it, it hasn't been preordained by Yahweh Shem Yahushai, nor has it been prophesied for, for us to make it on this side until Yahweh Shem Yahushai comes back and destroys this place for all the abominations that we've done in this Because what, what, what are our people doing right now? Celebrating the, the new day. Yeah, man, I, I, I laughed at it when I pulled up because, like, literally, you were setting off temporary fireworks for what? For a better hope. That's what, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. This is going to go for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, it's, it's right. It's yeah, more abominations. Yeah. And, 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 and wickedness and, and it's, unrighteousness. It, it's just more lies. Like, that's what Esau will do. It, he will have you lie to yourself, you know, to where you completely corrupted yourself in believing that this year is going to be different. Yeah. For the past 20 years, you've been a loser. You're still a loser. You're going to make it different. Right. You're still doing what the same thing. What the society is built for you to lose. Right. right. Exactly. Right. That, that's the thing. Is it's, that's, they don't get it. The reason you're looking for a better, every single fucking year, you're looking for a better year because you're in hell. Right. There you yeah, go. Exactly. You're in hell, so every year you hoping, okay, <laughs> this shit got to get better. Right. Right. It's not going to get better until the kingdom of heaven is established. But that also shows you insane and out of your goddamn <laughs> Right. Because right. year after year after year the after same year, thing. you do the that's same the shit over and over. That's the definition of what? Insane. Right. Insanity. Right. You goddamn people are insane, man. Right. And like they're changing at the time. That's it. They could have eaten black eyed peas. Now, 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 
we're partial to them to a degree because we understand that they have to be judged in order to believe. That's the only way that two-thirds are going to believe is by being judged and coming back to our loans. Right. You know? Right. Uh, other than that, we are the only... You had said earlier, we have the ultimate knowledge yeah. of all things, the unction of all things Yahweh Shemel Shai has given us for possession and an inheritance. Right. That is going to make you sigh and cry when you're around low-level, wicked people all the time. Yes. Right. Right. So that's yeah. why we that's why we sigh and cry. That's why we are seeking this whole armor of Yahweh Shemel Shai to make it through this hour of temptation. Because we know that two-thirds ain't gonna make it. They can't make it. We we are the uh, uh there's a scripture I want to say in Obadiah. It talks about that we are the saviors of our people. Roughly paraphrasing. That we are the only ones that actually have an opportunity at making it and and and, and becoming victorious and overcoming. You know? The scripture talked about how, uh, what does the scripture say? How uh, two will be in the field and, and, and one will be taken. Right, right, right. Like, like, like uh, every, every, every one of you all, brothers, are that one. I had a quick precept. Okay, go ahead. This is uh, Ezekiel 11 and 16. It says, Therefore say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, it says, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right Just going into the... Um, the brother saying, uh, the Lord taking us up, one of a family, being that little sanctuary. And amongst this land, amongst all these wicked people, it's only uh, a little sect of people the Lord is gathering together. So, right. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, I've always looked at it as like, you know, Esau every year and sports and shit, talking about the draft. You know, number one lottery pig, number three lottery pig, and all the rest of that stuff. Hey, hey, this right here is a, that small sanctuary. Lord willing, you know, we, hey, we know that we've been called, but Lord, Lord we've, we've been chosen. Right. You know, the odds in, in themselves are just ridiculous. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. Not shit. you know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, that, that, that should give you encouragement, but, but bring out what you got, brother. Oh, for sure. Come on, just real quick, the odds you talk about, look who's in this room versus the whole goddamn city of Houston. Right. Yeah. That's not good odds in any damn thing. If you a betting man, nobody would take them odds, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I would say this, you know, like the brother brought out there, decide and cry. We cry to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, in, in our prayers. And we also physically cry, man. Right. Because, you know, we coming from the world, you know what I'm saying, it's this shit, you know, it's not a man to cry. But that's, 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 to the world, man. You and his brotherhood, man, you say, these abominations and these things that we see and hear and have to endure, they'll make you cry. Not even for selfish, I'm talking about, you see your brother suffering, man. Okay? And your brother fall and stumble, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's not the end, but like, what did you say out here? What? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Uh -huh. it, it hurts, man. And, 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 and you share the chair, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to really think like, you know, that that's not an uncommon thing. For, for the, the whole thing yet, man. Okay? These things happen, man. Okay? And yet, these, this is a good, this is a good, good, good place in America, man. Yeah. Okay? These things are just, they're just tasteful, man. Um, okay? So, we, we do shit, we do shit with you, man. So, I'm, I'm just saying that, man, you know, not trying to make brother soft and like that, but man, when you, when you, when you, when you sit alone, man, like you at the house and you pray and meditate, man, and you feel that feeling, man, y'all ain't get it out, man. This is a fucked up place.
So you are more proud. Yeah, I was happy about it. That's right now. That's, that's right now. You know what I'm saying? You will. And another, not to say this, another form of uh, crying is when we go out on the highway and byways and teach. Right. Like I referred to earlier in Matthew, the 25th chapter, you read about it, or you read it, it says there was a cry made at midnight. Mm -hmm. So we crying, that's a form of us crying right. to uh, show that we believe to, to, to uh, Really, we begging the most out of bring the kingdom home. Right. And then the pride didn't make Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Regardless of how you feel about it, us crying now. You know, just real quick, if I could read the quick piece up. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud and spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shew my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their singing. So we don't, if you get offended by what we're saying, oh, well, we're not going to change that. Like I said, the white boy come up there, why y'all ain't never smiling? Why y'all ain't, hey, man, we out here doing this work. Sometimes we do smile. But right now, it ain't a whole hell of a lot to smile about. Right. So we cry aloud. We're not worrying about your feelings, how you feel about what we say. Because if you got a problem with what we say, you got a problem with what the Most High said. Because this is his word. Just like it said in Psalms, I think it was 139, do not I hate them that hate thee? Because that shows you got a hatred for the most high if you can't be susceptible and receptive to this word, man. It ain't us that you got the problem with. Ultimately, it goes back to the most high. So we're not worrying about your feelings. And just like you said, we cry physically, we cry loud, and like the brother said, we don't cry out tonight at midnight. Add to it. The most high are our spirits. So you go on the highway today, you prophesy and cry, you can cry physically. And sometimes, shit, you just might be sitting in the crib just like fucked up, like your spirit, like you just, you know, like, I don't know. Babylon, the most high, I know your spirit crying out. So your spirit ain't got to scream, you know. But shit, you physically cry, you prophesy and cry, cry, and shit, our spirits cry out to them. Like you said, with a lot. It says that righteous man. Seeing and hearing those things vexed his soul, vexed his spirit. His spirit was crying. The most I heard that, the most I know our spirits. You know, so, you know, this is uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. It says, And your hollow shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the poor things that passed away. And, you know, that this place does bring me sorrow, man, and anguish of heart, and vexation of spirit. You know, so, so there's going to be moments where, you know, all of these abominations in which we see every day, like, they start to compound each other, you know. And, and that's why, I really, you know, through the spirit, I really encourage brothers to, you know, have a balanced diet, you know, of your intake. Because that in itself, man, I mean, like, you know, you just, you just, of course. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, you bring it on yourself to a degree, but ultimately, it, it vexes our spirit because we, we are preaching life. And this whole, you know, society in which we're living in is death. Everything, you know, scripture talks about that and have a book the second chapter, you know? So, so we understand that, like, there's going to be vexation. There's going to be sighing and crying. But yeah, how about Shemia Al-Shah is going to wipe away all of those tears, you know, the sighing and the crying and, and provide, you know, for us, you know, righteousness, you know, to where none of those things are no longer present, you know. Um, you had that in, uh, oh, did you bring that out in uh, Obadiah real quick? That uh, Obadiah 22? Uh, Obadiah uh, reads... Because, like, when you return unto your house by Shema Hushai, that in itself brings you life, but it, it also, you know, even increases in knowledge, increases in sorrow. Because you understand, like, this whole place is jacked up. Right. Like, like there, I mean, aside from this little sanctuary, everything else is an abomination. Everything else is going to bring you vexation. <clears throat> you know? You got it. And I'm going to start at 18 just to get a full understanding of the for the camera. 
<clears throat> and the point is at the end, so we got 118 degrees. And the house of Jacob should be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any reckoning remaining, so not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken. Right, that, that's going to show you that the Edomites are still in existence. Right. That's right, that's right. Over there, 119, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall, shall possess Gilead, and the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto uh, Zerifah, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sh uh, Shepherah, shall possess the cities of the south, and Samus shall come up on the Mount Zion, right, to judge the Mount of Esau. See, so, so once again, like, through the Spirit, what I was saying earlier is, Lord willing, we are those saviors, saviors of our people. That's the reason why Lord willing, we were selected, you know, because we actually, we understand the vibration of truth. We understand the vibration of life. And we, and, and what is it, conversely, we also understand the vibration of death. So we yeah. see all of these things happening to where it's leading our people into death. Esau is dead, you know. So all of these things are portraying uh, really a converse spirit of the outbreaking outside, and that affects us, you know. But, but we actually have the opportunity to be saviors for our people, generations to come, you know. But it starts with obedience. It starts with understanding what this word is really about, and that it's it's not a, a carnal affair. It's definitely a spiritual warfare. And the only way we're going to win is spiritual. You got three more? Yeah, I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask for the other one. Now, one to one. And Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the house. There it is. Break it down, brother. I, I, I got something to finish now. Now, I just, that just, man, that, that, that's something like life. Man, it's the Saviors, man. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. I mean, because nobody else is, I mean, uh, what did you say? <laughs> you can't be no punk out here on the highways and byways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 oh, go ahead. I was just saying, we the champions of our people. Right. Like, like David, he, right. was like, he, he was a champion. Right. Of, of the people. Absolutely. Like, uh, I'm glad you spoke, I think it was last week or the week of last week. <laughs> Not like Esau do it was sending troops to war. David led, led Israel to right. war. Right, right. You know, front, front, front line, and right. They said, you know, how, how David, David went, went before them. Yeah, went them. before them and they brought them back. They went out to war, leading the war, mm -hmm. leading them out to war, and then leading them back in from war. Mm -hmm. he, was, you know, he was a savior. He was, he was Israel's champion. Right now, you know, everybody's right. falling on each and every last brother in this troop. You know, we are precipitations, if you will, of the how we shot through this word. So, you know, we, you know like this word is living waters. Mm -hmm. So, when you take this word on, you become living waters. So, you, you become a Messiah, you become a Savior. Right. But in the how shot, right? I got no scripture. We, like they say uh, in the book of Acts, they were first called Christians. Mm -hmm. In the Antioch, you know, right, it was called Masiyah, right, right, right. So, so, uh, right, because they followed the power shot, and now that term is thrown around so loosely that right. we don't even, you know, it's almost, it, it's almost a vulnerable to say you're a Christian, but we are the true Christians, but the anointed. Exactly. We, we are the Masiyah. So, it's been a misapplication. It's been a misapplication on the on, on yeah. using that word. It, it, it's through it's through faulty understanding. Yes. But we're right. We we are saved. We we are we are we have been anointed to be saved by you know, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So what's, what's that last part where it talks about judging the right. mountain of peace? Right. right. It says, "And saviors now go down one to one, and saviors shall come up." on Mount Zion to judge the mouth of Esau. Right. So once again, 
that whole stanza that brother just read proved that the Edomites are still in existence. Because they haven't been judged. Right. Exactly. That's what we're talking about right now. That's we are preparing for judgment. Right. And everything that's necessary to make it through judgment is going to involve the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. However, in that verse, it says that we are going to be what? Read that from uh, verse 20, that last verse 22, I think. It says, and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. That hasn't happened. Go ahead. To judge the Mount of Esau. That hasn't happened. And the kingdom shall be the house. Once again, if all of those things had happened, we wouldn't be prophesying right. about it happening. Right. <laughs> so that goes to show you that it hasn't happened and that, Lord willing, we are those saviors that are going to be judging the Mount of Esau to where the kingdom of Yahweh Shemel shall be established. Because that in itself has to be fulfilled, right? Right, right. Saviors so have to come up through the spirit. Lord willing, we are those men, you know, coming up through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, which the elder just went into. Uh, precipitation? Is that what you said, brother? You, 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 you hit me with like a, a, a yeah. like, that's a T word or something, bro. But, I mean, he yeah. said precipitation, you know? Yeah, through the spirit. So, so we are microcosms of Yahweh Shai, right? That, 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 that rivers of living water. To do what? To actually be able to judge. So that hasn't happened. So, yeah, yeah you got to back up again. I was shy to judge. You coming back to judge, but once you get that stamp of approval, you going to become a judge too. You're going to carry out judgment mm -hmm. right on Esau, Ham, Ishmael, you know, but Esau first and foremost. Right, right. right. So, yeah. The, Everything that, you know, I feel like the lock that fell on you, how it shot is going to you know, fall on you. Right. right. You know, from, from being anointed, from being a savior, to ultimately judge. Right. right. And, and lead over to all, all the nations. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. right. But you, you first got to go through every time you have a shot. Right. You got to carry that right. cross. Right. You got to be humiliated. Right. And uh, some of us going to be mortal. Right, yeah, so, but that, that goes in the territory of being joint heir. Right, he's joint heir, and right, you know, yeah, you have to do exactly what the house shot can do. We've got to bust up with it. It's about to do it. I had it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's good. Don't let nobody else see it, man. Romans 8 and 17 said, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Howell, and joint heirs with the Howell. Okay, okay, okay. okay. To the 16th verse, Romans 8 and 16, it says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Howell by Shem Yahushai. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Howell, and joint heirs with Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we might be also glorified together. Going into what you said, it's not all, the way you go, the ones that's up there elect, they're the joint heirs, the way they're going to be joint heirs is ultimately through election and also through going through the, uh, the suffering. Just like the scriptures say, uh, the servant is not greater than his, than his master. You know? Right. We, we are apprentices of the Amishan in order to get to the point of mastery. So each level that we go through, through the spirit, we're gaining more knowledge of what ultimately he set the example for. Including something you guys. That was really right I didn't want to I got to uh, I got a quick precept. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse, uh, just to land back off what the brother was saying. Uh, I'm going to start at 10. It said, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. <laughs> so, as I said earlier, 
we're doing this for our individual self, but at the same time, too, if we don't make it, we're doing it for the next brother to actually make it. So we're enduring all things for the elect's sake. You know, so it's a selfish mission. It's one that involves, yeah, if you make it, hey, brother, you all know, bless you, man, shout out right side. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, we are all preparing each other to make it. You know? That's what makes this, this a functioning body. Verse 11. It is a faithful saying, for if we believe, so like it, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Verse 12, if we suffer with if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If he if we deny him, he he also will deny us. So the point was, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. So that servant not being greater than the master goes to show you that that suffering in which Yahusha went through was just an example for us to prepare ourselves. Likewise, going through Jacob's trouble, likewise going through the, the day of the Lord, all of these things are to show that that suffering is going to take place. But we are prepared for it. No one else knows that they're going to have to go through suffering. That's an advantage for us. And not only that, we have the, the, the scriptures which prepare us and show us the way in which Yahushai uh, actually made it through, you know, which, which was through. Uh, um, Righteousness, which ultimately is, is spiritually having that whole army. Yeah, I just want to speak. The, the brother just uh, just informed me that the apostle had dubbed this year they officially entered into the year of prophecy, 2020. Mm -hmm. You know, for us, we got another 20 so minutes. Right. But over there, it's already, you know, midnight, but right. 2020 is going to be the year of prophecy. And it's, it's only a few left to be, you know, to, to right. be played out. And we're looking for, you know, the major ones that we're looking for, World War Three, the Mark of the Beast. And one we personally that I'm looking for is the, the grind in the seats. But I'm sick of this guy. Con. Yeah. I'm working <laughs> yeah. this goddamn devil. Con. That's another brother speaking about vexation of spirit. Hey, it's, it's hard. You, you know, you got all this knowledge. Yeah, most I've given you a leadership mentality, then you got to go be a fucking slave. Uh, yeah. But not only that, but for some base low life. Yeah, man. Right. Somebody you even know you get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People that straight up idiots that have no business ruling over you that are over you. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, that's why we ain't smiling. It's right. It's a vexation that yeah. we overstated, but yeah. uh, one of the reasons why we're not smiling, but right. We officially going into the year of prophecy 2020, right? So, hey, how about you? I was shocked that all things be fulfilled in 2020, right? Shocked, shocked. And, 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 and it's it spiritual because what we had just read in Obadiah was about right, prophecy, prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled. So, that uh -huh. man, that's good. Exactly. Don't you, don't you, as a brother's got a dog, got your dog tied up in the yard, mm -hmm. you go back and see him lose, you're like, God damn it. This is what the fuck out of these pants. Shit, we really sitting right. Shit, we listen to these goddamn demons, man. Mm -hmm. And we, they over us, man. Mm -hmm. And they should be subject to us, man. Mm -hmm. They should be in chains, man. Mm -hmm. you know, okay? That's the vaccination to the spirit, man. Yeah, it's right. Like, like, right, man. I fucking go. Man. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Oh, like, right, right, right. Right, right. They should be in fucking chains, man. I don't know. Oh, no. This is a vexation of the Holy Spirit, man. But Lord, you know, we know we, we come down the, 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 the straight of the man, in the race, man, but God damn, man, it's like shit, man. You know? What's God doing? You know what I'm saying? That that rulership mentality, man. Okay? Because the whole shot, my shot, he already paid. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we got to just... Yeah, Carry the cross, man. Don't get weak, man. Yeah. Okay? And if you do get weak, shit, you ain't gonna be weak. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of things yeah. about to really get weak with this demonizing that's happening, man. Right. Right. Yeah, right. 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 Right.
Right. Until you know what you're doing and you know what's going what's what all competition, man. Yeah, that's true. Because all hell competition too. Right. Yeah, it ain't all. Oh, he is right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all that. Yeah. 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 JK, JK yeah. don't even want to think Judy in their mind in that day. Right. Right. You right. see if the daughter's a singer, yeah. though, you're going to be right. 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 Judy. See, it's on CNN, it's on Fox right now. Right. Right. Oh, they associate you stuck in these journals who's from the black Hebrew Israelites. Not JK second. This is, this is happening for real, this is happening. Yeah, the things, it's not just finding out you a Jake, man. This demonizing is going to, the rats is going to jump ship, man. As, right. as the saying goes, the rats take off today. When the shit gets bad on the ship, you know that the rats is jumping off, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. And things is going to get real bad. This is your prophecy. Right. What yeah. prophecy? We just talked about them. David Trump, the chip, yeah. all that, all that stuff. You still gotta get Revelation 13. So, when they keep turning up, man, they're gonna cast that stuff. That's why they're gonna shut up now. They're gonna stay in those. Jewel, they, that's the last thing that's gonna come out of their hands. Okay? Alright? And if you, if you don't if you think that's too much, so you gotta go back and read the scriptures, maybe it's not already happening. Okay? Exactly. Right, bro. You know what I'm saying?
decline, you know, was, that, that's what was going on. Was like, when Caesars and everything was freaking off and, and just doing abominable shit, it was the same thing, like, you know, you got some Jeffrey Epstein's and all this shit, Pedophile Island, uh, uh, Pizza Gate, right, and all right. that shit. That went on in ancient Rome, so this is that likeness. Right. This is the image that them creating the likeness of the, the image. Uh, we had a game post. First thing. 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. Because the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, so he had power to give life to this to this image. Right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 16. And he caused them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That RFID microchip, that is the mark of the beast. So don't let them give you that under any circumstances, not in the vaccine. Um, go and volunteer to get it because, you know, they tell you, you you can't get access to your money in the bank. You, know, you, you got to put it on this chip. You, like, you know, the dollar is no more good. But what we can do, <coughs> You can transfer your funds into this chip and we can put it there. Don't let them give you that bullshit. Right. Um, you know? And it's going to get hard, like what it's talking about. But you're going to have to totally disassociate yourself from society. You know? At the cost, you might be put in a concentration camp, but don't let them put that chip in. Right. The right. scripture say you read Matthew 10 and 28, the Lord say, if you're not him, who was able only to kill the, or destroy the body, but if you're him who was able to destroy both body and soul in hell, in hell. That's what you think, you know. The Lord will go down to and let them tell him when you go to hell, you did. Right. So how do why the Lord saying he's gonna destroy both body and soul yeah. in hell? It's talking about because we in, we live in a hell. Right. right. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, I thought your soul burned here, not your body. Huh. So it don't make sense to you by, by, you know, secular doctrine. You're right. Do not take that chip. You, you, you hold it something, bro? I'll be with the soul. I'm going to say this real quick. It ain't going to be like uh, in the queen of the sun. You're going to be able to hide. You're going to be able to hide. You're going to be able to hide. You're going to be able to Yo, yo, people, we you love. If you got trust in them, if you're foolish enough to still have trust in them, they they don't deliver you up. Right, okay. right. This is going to be the 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 left against the world. Man. The wrong way, you know, the left against the world. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that, uh, like the Apostle the Lord had brought out uh, before, if you go into the word mark, it's uh, karagma, which means something that's stamped or inserted them under the skin, but then when you go into the root of the word, it's karat, right. which yeah. goes into the syringe, right. in which they're gonna, uh, which that's that's what they use to insert the chip under the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's showing without a without a doubt. There's no argument about it. It's, right. it's, you can't argue what the mark of the beast is when you go into the word mark. It's the it's the R I D microchip. And they don't just take the microchip with, with their hand and just force it under your skin. They use a, a syringe. Right. Or a syringe is used to get that chip um, in the right, or in the hand right. for that matter, or in the brain. And they ain't gonna take it on me. Right, right. Hey, bro, I was gonna do it real quick. My brother probably gonna laugh, bro. He was good with y'all trying to do it. Y'all holding the truth. I had to, uh, to uh, take a blood or something. Man. So we gonna do this video.
what they call this shit. Mm. You think the vaccine, bro, they're gonna be hitting you up, man. Niggas ain't even gonna fucking know, man. Because you trust in the goddamn devil instead of trusting your house by shutting down the shop, man. You found me, bro? No, I guess I love it. Okay, okay. Um, you had something else? You got some more. Oh, not unless you just want verse 17 where it says that no man might come. Um, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Look, oh, that, that. Or if I can microchip the mark of the beast, is going to contain all your financial records, your exactly. numbers, right. records, and all your personal identification uh, right, information. You oh, own it. Right. You own it. Yeah. And they all, and, they, and, 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 and if you think that's a hard thing to do, bro, well, they already got it right here. Yeah, yeah. And they own it. Uh, uh, debit and credit. Right, right, bro. They got all this shit, bro. Look, the topic is like we started off with the uh, quantum uh, computers. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't working with stuff. Quantum physics ain't like what we learned in school, man. This shit is like. They got all the stuff that we, this is old technology. Right. All this stuff, this, they been had this stuff, man. Right. We saw us on a whole nother level. No, they, they, um, actually I heard this on the video that um, McDonald's had to get a, they were just doing a test where they, they had the AI in, in, uh, at the uh, drive-thru. And it, it tells you what you want. So you, it, it, it predicts what, what the people yeah, want to exactly. eat. So by the time they get to the women, they are the women and said that it's been, it been accurate. Yeah. That's how scary this what shit is. What are they doing on facial recognition on the camera or something? Or they just I think it's with facial recognition. But somehow, I don't know how it's doing. Damn. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. They were able yeah. to yeah. process yeah. information yeah. like a, the mind of a, of, a, of a human, man. This is scary. And that, that chip is going to. Link you in to the internet of things. Is that, right? yeah, is that Yeah, you just, yeah. And that's how they, like I said, when quantum computers, that's how they work. Like, a known computer, you in cyberspace, but the quantum computer, it actually brings cyberspace into the real world. So, it'll tie you in to, to everything, the smart phone, the, the smart, uh, the, 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 uh, thermostats, right? No, Terms, tablets, all this shit. Yeah. Refrigerator. Oh, yeah. yeah. they got, they got, they got smart refrigerators and smart yeah. washers uh, and dryers. Right. 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 Yeah. And what is that? Oh, these, 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 uh, just real quick, these uh, driving the cars. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, so what you think will happen in the day with your smart houses and your driving the cars and these all things? Move. Shit, you're gonna be locked the fuck inside the fucking house until they come to get you. They'll drive the car and drive you straight to the goddamn garage. Shit, don't get this game. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. I this is second Matthew's first chapter. The Hebrews. This is five verse twenty-four. It says the crowd was after this man. Oh, the Howard, the Howard Power, creator of all things, who are fearful and strong and righteous and merciful and the only gracious king, the only giver of all things, the only just, almighty, and everlasting, thou that deliverest Israel from all trouble, and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them, receive the sacrifice for thy whole people, Israel, and preserve thy own portion and sanctify them. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that thou art our power. Punish them that oppress us, and with pride do us wrong. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, well hey, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up and go uh, put these curses on Babylon for this new year. Uh-huh. Pray that the Lord deliver us, man. That's right. And, uh, you know, deliver us from the oppression of all enemies. First and foremost, each 
We pray for the spirit that you brought will edify, you know, and we're going we're gonna to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Rakaq, Dash. Shalom. Shalom.